remember in my report from back in December, the Fort Myers Beach uh, Commission, they were saying that they expected about half of the businesses that were here before Hurricane Ian to return to the beach. Well, some good news tonight, Chris. We're learning that more than half of those businesses are now set to return. But for businesses, like you said, Chris, like La Ola just behind me here, they say that they can't just depend on their beachside location moving forward. With everything going on on the beach, we're, we're more in a temporary situation down there where we, we don't know what the future holds. Of the 60 restaurants that called Fort Myers Beach home before Hurricane Ian, La Ola is just one of the 18 the Fort Myers Beach Chamber of Commerce says have returned since the storm. We're operating out of some shipping containers on trailers and a, and a, and a food trailer down there, as you know. So uh, it'll be nice to have a uh, brick and mortar here to fall back on. A safety net La Ola owner Tom Houghton said he was able to cast by opening a second location at the Bell Tower shopping mall in Fort Myers. Seven months after Ian, of the 18 restaurants that have returned, half of them, like La Ola, Chambers Executive Director Jackie Lizak says, are operating on the beach out of food trucks or shipping containers. Houghton says that's creating vulnerabilities his second location can help alleviate. It sure feels good to be able to have, um, you know, a location that isn't so vulnerable um, and at risk of, you know, I, I got to be able to think of my staff and make sure that I can provide constant employment for them. Gearing up for their Bell Tower soft opening, Houghton says his two locations overall will increase his staff by 50% compared to what it was before Ian, creating for La Ola a more resilient workforce as the island community continues to build back as Southwest Florida approaches the start of another hurricane season. There most definitely is going to be a whole lot of construction going on at some point. We're going to have to be able to uh, work around that or maybe take a pause. Who, who knows? The future is just a little uncertain down there. As a reminder, when we're talking about La Ola, they're not going to close down their Fort Myers location. They're simply opening up a second location. Now, for that soft opening at Bell Tower, that's set to happen sometime next week. We'll give you those updated details as soon as they are released from La Ola. But for now, live in Fort Myers Beach, Colton Chavez, Fox 4.